hi everyone welcome back to my channel green life indoors um i thought i'll show you what i got today um i got myself a peperomia optasfolia <laughs> forget that name the easy one is a baby rubber plant <laughs> Yeah, that's an easy one. I like it. They've got two names, so forget the first one. The first one is always so difficult. So yeah, there's a baby rubber plant. I'm very excited about it. I've always wanted this plant. How cute is that? It's nice and glossy and it's got this thick leaf and yeah, I'm very excited about it. That's that. And the other one I got, which I also always wanted, was is a philodendron. Uh, Silva. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I'm reading these names well, but nonetheless, that's what it is. I love it because it's one of those that creeps or hangs. Oh, na 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 na. So I can't wait for it to start doing its thing. So, yeah, how beautiful is that, you know? And then the other one I got is this one. It's also a peperomia caperata and uh, yeah the green one it's so nice it's got this the leaves you know they've got this funny texture you know I mean isn't that beautiful I love them and I've got three kinds of them so I've got this green and then I've got this color different color i love it i mean look at the stems i like kind of reddish pinkish look and even the leaves i mean this is beautiful and yeah it's the same just different colors and the third one is this one you know this one is variegated <clears throat> You know it's also the same one huh? just different i mean look at that it's got like mix of colors on the leaves you know it's like yeah you know and the stem is not quite as it's a bit lighter in color compared to this one and this one the stem is like going to the green side of things so i'm very excited i've always wanted these plants and i was so happy to find them there i mean they didn't have them before ha 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 <laughs> now they do <laughs> so i'm very excited so and funny enough when i went this was the last one so it was like oh mm, god answered my prayers really this was the last one they were all gone this was the, the i mean they I've never seen them before, you know, um, and this time around when I went, you know, this all, this is all that was left, this Baba, you know, I mean, um, I'm sure they had more nicer ones, full looking ones, you know, but I was happy with this one. It's not so bad. I mean, it's not so bad. It does have one leaf that's like a bit scorched or bent or whatever and one leaf there that's like a bit torn and um yeah that's about it but the rest is in good condition okay this one torn leaf there that's it and the rest is in good condition so to find a plant which is the one you've always wanted and it happened to be the only one left and then it's not the condition is not bad at all that's a blessing because sometimes when it's just it left there's always some negative reasons why <laughs> is it the only one on the job <laughs> but yeah it was waiting for me to come get it and i got it so yeah so i'm excited about it so yeah i'm welcoming new family members to my plant family so yeah about i've got three i call them twin sisters okay pepperonias 
twin sisters, three of them. Welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> They're going to be very happy. Okay, let me tell them. You're going to be very happy here. Happier than where you were. Absolutely happy. We're going to take care of you. And welcome, my baby rubber plant. Welcome, welcome home. And welcome, 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 my new philodendron. Ah, I love it. I can't wait. I love it. I've seen this plant full. Oof, you'll love it full. I'm sure we'll get there, right? So, yeah. And along with it, I got myself two pots. The other one, I've already, uh, I've already put something in it. It's sitting in my bathroom. <clears throat> and the other one is this one. Now, the reason I bought this pot, it was on sale, 50% off. <laughs> right? Nice, isn't it? 50% off. I was excited that I could put my uh, string of pearls in it. You know, this is my new edition, which I, I got a few weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, it's been sitting in this pot. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you saw it on Instagram. Yeah. So, and Facebook page. Now, disappointing enough, I get home excited to put this in its pot without having to transplant it just it doesn't fit this is how far it goes <laughs> oh this is how far it goes so that was i was so disappointed i was so disappointed so but well it's not the end of the world i'm going to drill away <laughs> I'm going to drill a hole. I oh, know. You know what? I'm going to drill a hole. And um, on this pot. Right here. And then I'm going to transplant this beautiful um, string of pearls in this pot. Believe me, exactly what I bought it for, it's going to be used for that. I'm not going to use it for something else. Because I really bought it for my string of pearls. You know, um, so yeah, so how about I show you how I drill a hole on my pot? I've, I must say, I've drilled away quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I have. I've drilled many of my pots, which I loved when I saw them, but they didn't have holes. So I went ahead and I bought them anyway. And when I got home, I drilled away. DIY. Yeah. So, um, they say you must have a, I don't know, um, I don't even remember what it's called, the bit that you should use to drill. Oh, well, for me, I googled once before and then they said you can use a masonry bit for your ceramic pot, so which is not um, glazed. Or whatever so and if it's glazed they say you can use your uh, glass or your tile bit and then um, yeah and then they say if it's uh, steel or anything like that I think I don't know let me not go there but I remember those two so because this one is not glazed <coughs> Okay, see it's not it's just laced up here on top here so here it's not placed i'm going to use my masonry bit now i don't know how true that is but i must be honest i've always used it ever since i found out from google and it works for me it does work for me so please if you have done it another way and it has worked for you you can share your comments down below but this is what has worked for me. Yeah. So let's go ahead and drill a hole. Okay, we're going to drill. So you want to put your pot on a towel or something. So I'm using my towel. Yeah, you want to put it for it to lie on something a bit 
like of a cushion kind of a thing yeah that you don't break your pot <laughs> i've broken one pot before now i managed to glue it glue it together <laughs> so yeah but not because it was not sitting on a towel i drilled right as i was take this off as i was drilling i i forgot to hold it make sure that when it goes through my driller doesn't go and hit the thing so it did it went through and without i wasn't ready for it it went through and then <clears throat> this thing this part of the driller hit the pot so this went in and this hit the pot and it broke and not in such a bad way well no it was <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit bad but i was able to fix it i'll show you i'll show you okay so yeah here it is I just quickly went to fetch it so you can see the that part where the glue is right fell out <laughs> and then i was able to glue it back together and it's nice and sealed it doesn't look like inside it doesn't look like something happened but believe me that patch came off and i was able so when you drill make sure that you you hold your drill quite nicely and you you keep on checking how close you are and that it doesn't slip off your hands and go right in and make a bigger hole than what you expect what you wanted so yeah so we're gonna try and not do that <laughs> okay so we're going to drill so you're gonna like i said you put it on the surface where it's softer like a towel and then you're gonna put water on it to make it wet why that um your bit doesn't heat up you know it can cool it down when it heats up yeah and there we go. We go for it. It's a bit noisy. just gonna try and make it a bit bigger okay That's how you make a hole on a pot you like and still use it for what you wanted to use it for. Ha! There you go. So I'm glad I could share that with you. I've done that a lot and uh, I'm glad that I could share that with you today. So um, like I said, if you've got a pot that you like, and you see it at the shop 
and it happens not to have a hole and you want it to have a hole go ahead and buy it and then drill away <laughs> and you have if you have done that uh, please share with me below how that went and uh, i hope this doesn't happen to you <laughs> if you do it carefully and you pay attention to your drill it won't happen to you i got excited i mean by the time i got to this one i had already drilled about six of them so i was a bit more relaxed and then i thought oh well this is easy peasy and let that happened so don't get too relaxed <laughs> so yeah um but thank you very much for tuning in and hopefully you like this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and for those who have subscribed to my channel thank you thank you thank you so much and remember to press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on new uploads but nonetheless um thank you for everything and thank you for liking my videos and thank you for the comments i mean for those who've been commenting i mean it means a lot it means a lot to hear something from you guys and yeah and if there's um if you've got suggestions or you want me to do certain videos for you like there's a plant you want me to do a video on or whatever it is please note it down below if it's something i can do i'll definitely consider it and thank you so much have a lovely day bye